Hey guys, just wanted to weigh in on something I've been thinking about for a while and just saw recently something that happened. Most of you guys probably know Leafy is here, a popular YouTuber who's been blowing up big time. And not only him, but a whole genre of YouTubers of these kind of commentary channels where they show video game footage and then talk about some kind of video and react to a video. I've been putting off talking about this because it's just, I'm actually friends with these guys. So it's awkward and it's uncomfortable. But if for some reason, we as a community have been giving these guys a pass. So what happened? Leafy made a video about a guy like he usually does, calling him a fucking asshole, cringy, weirdo, you know, whatever, whatever, all the stuff he usually does. And it turns out that this guy is actually autistic and has a YouTube channel. He's a YouTuber. So essentially, he has made fun of someone who actually has a mental disability and they made a video of themselves crying saying they're getting death threats and he's really upset. Hello, folks. I'm having a difficult time right now because some people are threatening my life, threatening my family. And all I wanted to do was inspire people. Before I talk about this, I need to acknowledge the fact that, you know, this is what we do on H3. We talk about other people as well. But we've been doing this for a long time. Okay, and if you think that we haven't come across videos like this guy's, we've watched this guy's videos a lot of times and we never made a video about him. You know why? Because we're not fucking assholes. Because it's just mean. He doesn't deserve to be made fun of. And I mean, if you look at Leafy's channel, all he does is make fun of kids and like vulnerable people like Joey's World Tour. There's no, there's no sport in making fun of these people. They're just, it's just sad. They don't need to be made fun of. And now that Leafy's channel has blown up, he's sending like millions of like kids to just harass these people. And honestly, it is kind of just turned into bullying. I know we make fun of people, but we do our best to make sure that it's somebody who deserves it or who can take it. You know what I mean? We'd never find someone with 10 views and be like, hey, th fuck this kid for trying to follow his passions and live his hobby. The fact that this guy's out there making videos is fucking cool, man. Obviously he's a little awkward, but the dude has autism. The fact that he's out there actually trying to make the world a better place in his own way is pretty amazing. If you look at Leafy, he's got straight up like so flow level titles. Like how as a community do we just accept that this was okay? He uses clickbait titles, clickbait thumbnails. It's all sexy girls and I don't understand these thoughts. How do you even differentiate one video from the other? It's crazy. So here's the video he made about Tommy. Here's a video he made about a little girl who made a music video. Who, here's a, making fun of a kid. Here's making fun of a Joey's World Tour who obviously has an eating disorder. Here's making fun of a kid. Here's making fun of a kid. Kid, 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 kid. Like what the fuck, man? Can you just find like someone to pick on your own size? Like, I mean, seriously, dude. What's going on? You're just picking on kids. What, what's cool about this? And then he finds specific people to keep bullying. Like, okay, here's Joey again. Here's Joey again. And I won't deny that that is a hilarious thumbnail, but hilariously sad. Making fun of a kid, making fun of a kid, making fun of a kid, making fun of a kid. It's like, dude, I don't know. I don't know. At a certain point, I feel like it's just a little bit too much. It's just like a channel of straight bullying at this point. The cringiest kid on the entire internet. The cringiest kid to ever touch the internet. The cringiest kid to ever live in the entire universe. The cringiest kid to ever live in this world. Like how do you even distinguish the videos from each other? It's it's stupid honestly that we've all gone this long giving these, these channels a pass who are cancerous. I'm serious. And like, look, Leaf, me and Leafy are friends, you know? I feel like, I don't know, he's, his videos have just gotten like out of control. And I mean, I understand the situation they're in because they make videos every day. And it's really hard to find something to talk about every day. But you've got to, you know, draw the line somewhere. At this point, it's literally just bullying. And honestly, I want to thank Tommy for actually, you know, making the statement and being like, hey, this is happening. At the end of the day, they're doing their thing. They're shaking their dick. People are watching. People are having fun. That's cool. But Leafy is just out there bullying people and it's just fucked up. And with the titles and the clickbait, I mean, we used to make fun of SoFlo and all these prank channels for like making YouTube a worse place. But right now these commentary channels are kind of the worst thing that's happened to YouTube. And for some reason, everybody's giving them a pass. And I mean, their content 
Their content's okay, you know? That critical view, that reaction is fun, it's interesting, it's engaging to watch, it's what we do on H3H3. But the whole bullying thing, it's like they seem to have focused in specifically on kids and vulnerable people. It's almost like a community made just for bullying. If you can find people worthy of being made fun of, then it's all great. But right now, this shit is out of control. And I just wanna say for the record that we are hypocrites for, you know, not speaking out about it sooner because this shit is fucked up. And since Leafy's blowing up right now, you see his channel on every related, recommended in every you know video side page because of the algorithm of YouTube. And they're promoting this guy and people are gonna click that and be like, oh, this is what's popular on YouTube. It's a someone bullying someone with autism or bullying someone who has obviously like eating disorder. The guy needs help, support, not fucking ridicule by a thousand raging kids on the internet. It's a bit of a rant, and I may seem like a bit of a hypocrite since it's essentially what we do on H3, but I mean, look, I don't know. I always th thought we were a little more delicate than that, and I just would like to see that same delicacy across the board because this is not, this is not the community that, I mean, I think most of us want to be a part of, so. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time.